Hello and welcome to my series How Flat is Flat, where I compare different tiers, or in this case, sizes and shapes of Robocraft building parts. Namely, in this episode, we'll talk about cubes and rods. So, rods and cubes. Okay, so more precisely, we will talk about how to choose the right cubes when you construct your robot in order to optimize your build. What I will show you in this video is that for some builds you might actually end up with less HP when you choose to construct with cubes with more HP. At least if you want the other properties of your robot to stay the same. Full cubes and rods had the highest HP and corner slopes had the least and we also got everything in between. They also got very different weight. The full cube being heavy and the corner slope being very light. Rods stand out here because they both have lots of HP and low weight. Now, to save you some time, the weight is important here, but only if you construct robots where weight actually matters, either by carry capacity of the movement parts or by loss of agility when the thrusters have to push a greater weight. If you only build robots where weight is not an issue, like the mech for example that I am speed building here in the background, that does not use hovers for other things than stability or thrusters. There is just one thing you need to know. Apart from some triforcing with rods around weapons, unless they have 100% resistivity, in which case you don't need to, more health is always better, meaning full cubes is the way to go. Actually, everything you do that is not a full cube spam, to for example make your robot look better, will actually make it worse. However, if you like to also construct robots that take some skill to build and where choice of armor matters, then this video might provide you with some useful information. There is a simple reason why you might end up with less total HP when using heavy cubes over light ones. If using a movement type with a limited carry capacity or where the thrusters are the main force of movement, then you will need to spend more CPU on other parts with less HP like thrusters and hovers in order to keep the robot's agility and speed the same if you increase the weight. I have built two hovers to demonstrate this, since hovers is what I know best, both using the exact same CPU, one with full cubes and one with edges. Both these hovers are as close as I can get them to optimal number of hover blades while using the same amount of CPU of course, meaning that if I would remove one hover blade from any of the two, speed would start to drop drastically. I use 565 CPU with thrusters and hover blades and one speedometer for each. Uh, when dividing the CPU between cubes and hovers I find that I need 10 hover blades to not exceed carrier capacity for the full cube bot and only 6 for the one using edges. You can see the stats for both bots here in the video. When adding the HP of all of the parts for each bot, we get the following result. HP of the full cube bot is 859,000, while the HP of the edge cube bot is more than 883,000. If we would only use 9 hover blades instead of 10 on the full cube bot, and the rest for cubes, they would have roughly the same HP. The full cube bot would however be substantially slower, especially at low OC level. But that is not all. Even at correct carry capacity, the full cube bot is slower, both at low and high OC levels. So the full cube bot is not only weaker in terms of armor, it's a bit slower as well, and acceleration will also be lower. A few of the cubes share the fate of the full cube, just not to the same extent. The loss of HP from extra hovers to carry their weight is simply not worth it. Some cubes are just not very practical to build with. So what about the ones we got left? Well, rods got superior weight to HP ratio, but also few problems. They only connect in two places, meaning you will have to use them in a mix with other cubes. They are also vulnerable because of this. If damage spread to connection points of the rods, you might lose chunks of them, even though the rods themselves did not take much damage. So rods are good, but you have to use them with care. Stick one in when it's possible. I will not bore you with the math but there are diminishing returns from scaling a weight, as well as the HP weight ratio not exactly being very constant. So edges, despite being heavier than edge slopes or small corners, are actually better. Simply, you will have more total HP using edge plus hover blades than you will have using edge slopes or corners and less hover blades. The same actually goes for the corner slopes. Despite being very, very light with a good weight to HP ratio, you will end up with less armor. 
Remember, I'm using hovers here as an example. For flyers and drones, optimal cube type might be different, even though the underlying principle is the same. The inner slope got about the same properties as the edge. Use rods when possible, but other than that, edges and inner slopes are the optimal choice for a hover. Edges when you want to triforce, and inner slopes when you don't. Remember that the optimal choice might change as in-game values change with new updates. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you want more videos like this one and feel free to comment in the comment section below if there's something you feel I have missed or that you want to point out or that I could do better. You can also check out my full guide to hover construction here. See you around.